So, do you want to increase your C drive space, having trouble in managing your drive or partitions? Uh, many people think that the allotted space for each partition of their hard drive will remain same forever, and this is unchangeable. But tell you the truth, this is not true. You can actually customize your partitions on your hard drive. Hello, my name is Victor, and you are watching Incredible Victor. Today's video is about how to manage your partitions. So, the, uh, managing the partitions of your disk, like you want to increase your C disk space or the uh, C partition space. So, let's understand the hard disk partition or whatever you are using SSD or HDD. There must be some partition to help you using your storage. Whatever storage device you should have some partitions. So, most of the cases, uh, the uh, boot drive is named as C drive. Uh, whatever is this C partition. So let's understand the structure of our storage device on a computer. So here I have created an illustration. <laughs> like uh, so, this consider this thing to be your total storage device. Uh, here comes some system reserved, which you cannot touch. There comes the uh, boot drive, which is named as C. In my case, this is C. There may be some numeric digits or something else that represents your boot drive you have the partition D E F uh, okay I have uh, these four partitions over there and uh, whenever you want to increase the CD space you need to get the space from here so if you wanted to expand your C drive then you will have to get the space from near space or uh, relatively just after that it comes the D but you have data stored in in this blue portion over here so either you have to move this to another partition then you will format this one then you will increase the CD space so that's the thing you have to do when you want to increase the volume of a partition and uh, for doing that Windows 10 has some Thing to offer and that is you have to search with the disk you will find a create a format hard disk partition I am using a hard disk so that's it and you click on it so the window is popped up and you can see all the storage device and partition on your computer and as you can see I have a C drive of 150 74.9 gigs and uh, after that I have the system reserved which is 500 megabytes and there is no way to touch this one I can't do anything to this so I was trying to do with this disk management tool which comes with the Windows 10 uh, so I just moved all the data on my D partition to any other partition then I formatted this deleted uh, everything was in the D drive and then I was trying to expand the C drive but it didn't because there is uh, my system reserved which you can see the D0 partition one so it cannot actually jump over this system reserved partition so disk management didn't help me with that the best way to do this is uh, there is a software that comes for free which is mini tool partition with wizard i'll put a link in the description you can check that out so the thing is that you need to download it i have already downloaded and installed this mini tool partition wizard. this is not for expanding your partition or managing your partition it allows you a lot of things you are like uh, if i want to have my hard disk into a SSD then I'll be needed it because it can clone your PC and a lot of other stuff so here comes the mini tool partition wizard and just single click it pops up this dialog box and you need to click yes so, so this is the interface of mini tool partition wizard this is the free version the pro version offers you much more uh, functionality i don't know about that but uh, 
whatever you need is in the free version so the fact is you want to increase the cd space so this is my c drive and there is a menu on the left side and there is extend partition you can see extend partition and i'll click on that now a dialog box opens and it's asking for which partition I would select and how much amount of uh, volume I want to get into my C drive. So it's uh, saying that from uh, the D partition and you can select any of your partition on, on the storage device, anyone. It will do this automatically. You don't need to worry about anything or de delete or lose any data. All the information will be saved and uh, this actually automatic does that job for you. It's so like uh, if you want to increase it from the big files or the F drive. So let me look at the image first. So here is the F drive if you want to increase it. Then this data stored here that must be moved a little bit over there. Then in the E drive this data will be moved a little bit there. And that's how that this will be extended that's a complex procedure and that's not the most comfortable one to do so so that's why the mini tool partition comes and this allows to do everything very easily so like uh, I've selected that and uh, I want to increase about uh, 6 gigs okay so then we'll hit OK. In this side you can see that operation spending. Then you will hit apply and everything will be done. Within a few minutes you just need to wait. Make sure your computer gets cool and when you are increasing the space in the boot drive, that means the boot drive, so you should stop all the background applications running. Like, uh, yeah, the screen recorder is recording now. You need to stop that and uh, while extending the boot drive, this will uh, restart and uh, everything will be done on the computer shutdown and that will look like something like this and uh, when it restart, you will get your extended C drive. For other drives, you can do the same thing and yes, uh, this video is not sponsored by Mini Tool Partition Wizard. This is really a useful tool that comes for free. So that was the video. If you find this video useful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any better option to manage your partitions, let me know in the comment section. See you soon with some new interesting videos. Till then, stay good, keep good and keep doing incredible things. And yes, of course, keep watching Incredible Victor.